Hey guys, so today I want to talk a little bit about goal setting and how to go about it. And this comes inspired by a couple of books that I read on holiday. Um, one of the books was the one, this one called Head Start. Um, it's about developing or building a resilient mindset. And then another book, which kind of uh, ties in with that one, is all about habits. And I recommend this book massively because if you want to learn more about yourself and become more self-aware and the things that you do and how to change those things that you do, that's a great book to read also. I actually um, read The Power of Habit a couple of years ago and I reread it whilst on a recent holiday. Um, I thought that was really good. This book was great as... Um, a believer in things like the secret and uh, you know an abundant universe that kind of thing it's great to believe in that stuff to keep yourself uh, of a positive mindset but at the same time the book that I read just before this was all about the power of positivity and being positive mindset and bringing it out to the universe and it reminded me of a, a friend of mine who used to tell me all the time, used to come into work and used to say, mate, I've asked it today and nothing happened again. Every single day I ask it. And he was talking about the universe, you know? And so I used to say things like along the lines of, you, you must be blocking it with your negativity or something like that. It was a bit of a joke between us both. Every day he'd ask the universe and nothing would be delivered. But um, this book is great um, for putting things into context uh, because this class is it almost that kind of attitude as a pseudoscience, if you like, and then um, gives you a bit more of a um, thinker's mindset whereby it's great to have the positive mindset, but unless you put actual pen to paper and put plans in place um, to get to where you need to be, you won't actually get there. So this is more about actually doing stuff rather than just thinking stuff and attracting it. So the two books that I read went hand in hand because I read the one um, about a positive mindset before reading this one about listen pull your finger out put some plans in place put pen to paper and actually stick to those because nothing will happen with just a positive mindset unless you actually do something about it that being said how do we go about actually getting pen to paper and what do we actually do so first of all what we want to actually do is imagine what our outcome goal is going to be okay so let's look at this from a fitness perspective this being a fitness instagram page okay so this is going to be our outcome goal okay now we want to get fit we want to get lean let's make this something that's attainable within let's say the next three months okay so let's make it a 12 week um, goal to lose 20 pounds okay what we could do with there is we could do with having some accountability as well to add to that. So let's say we'll book a photo shoot for 12 weeks time and that's where we're gonna celebrate hitting our goals. And so what we, what we need now is a couple of mid-level goals. Mid-level goals could be attaining um, a certain dress size. So let's just say we're a size 14 and we wanna get down to a size 12 in the mid-level goals. <laughs> And then let's have another mid-level goal. There doesn't need to be too many mid-level goals, but you could have another mid-level goal of training four times a week. <laughs> now what we need, this is where the magic happens, and this is the bit that you need to get used to doing. Um, uh, the process goals, okay? So the process goals are the goals at the bottom. Those are what you need to get used to enjoying so that it becomes less of a chore to think about this, you think about more the stuff that you do on a daily basis. So if we're looking to lose 20 pound in fat, then one of the process goals that we would need to do on a daily basis, we could start really simple and just say, we're gonna start drinking two liters of water per day. Let's add another one in. Keep a food journal. We could have another one whereby you decided you were going to try and train in a gym, or at home or anywhere for twice a week. You could go for a walk at the weekend. This, if done daily, will lead to really good habits that even if you don't attain a 20 pound loss, because it might have been a bit too far reached for you, even if you don't, you're gonna get somewhere damn close and then you can set new goals, etc. as you go along. 
Just the initial act of journaling your food has been shown to have a positive impact on every other aspect of fitness and health. So just by journaling your food is gonna make you more aware of what you're eating, which will probably have a knock-on effect on making you feel better, which will make you want to get up at the weekend and go for a walk, etc. cetera. Uh, maybe leading you to go to the gym and also leading you to drink more water as well. This is something I read in the book, The Habits, and it talks about the fact that just one, doing one simple thing can lead to a whole batch of other things once that thing becomes a habit. So just to recap on everything, all right? We have our outcome goal, we set mid-level goals, and we have process goals at the bottom. And process goals are the habits that are gonna be instilled in us that are gonna help us to reach our overarching outcome goal. If you thought this was a good video, if you thought you got benefit from it, if it helps you in any way, if you want to set some outcome goals, if you are interested in working with me as a coach as well, I can work with you online. We do a 12 week transformation package. Please get in touch and uh, drop your email in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.